busy, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My... Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited because today's YouTube video vlog I'm doing is something that I've literally had my eye on for like, not eye, but I've been thinking about it for the longest time and I was like, perfect week to do it. This is the week of Christmas. It's Tuesday. December 22nd so today's video and I'm going to do like a little two-day vlog but today's video today's part of the vlog is going to be how I plan my Instagram so I get asked a lot in my DMs um, I've gotten asked a number of times how I started Instagram um, how I changed my just regular Instagram account into a blogger account um, how I plan my feed how brands have contacted me, do I contact brands, all those questions, and I'm going to try to answer them to um, some of them today and take you through the steps on what I go through like every single week when it comes to taking my pictures, shooting my content, and all that. Not only do I am I going to show you taking pictures, I'm going to show everything that goes into like one day full of content creating. I try to just take two days out of the week to shoot all my content. So that was that plan that I had two days out of the week shooting my content was a great plan until it started to get like frigid cold out and me and my boyfriend because my boyfriend takes all my pictures um, if I didn't have him he now is in school at home so if he was back at school I don't know who would take my pictures so thankfully he is here and he takes all my pictures for me I'm so grateful for him. But I will get into more on how I take my pictures, all that kind of stuff in a little bit once I get ready. So usually the first thing I do when I do shoot is I definitely always take a shower. Well, I always take a shower, um, but I shower in the morning and I do my hair that day because that's just the way it always looks best. I usually am like a night shower gal but um the days that i shoot content i take a shower in the morning i style my hair in the morning all that kind of stuff so right now i'm just putting some makeup on and then i start doing my hair and everything so today is like rundown on what i have to take i have to do a lot today i start off i do my makeup it is now 10 18 so i'm on like a good track on taking pictures, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get dressed, do my hair, do my makeup, and then we can talk more about how I plan my feet, everything like that. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. So now, I mean makeup and my hair, so now I'm going to curl my hair. I just got this curling iron by Bombay. Um, so far I'm liking it. I didn't have a curling iron, I did, but it was terrible. So I just got this one. Hopefully it curls right. But yeah, so today's sh hair for my shoe, like for when I take my content, will be curled hair. So um, a lot of people, I know some bloggers take pictures every single day because they want different hairstyles, this and that, which I totally like agree with. I like that. But for my sake, it's just, I don't like taking pictures every single day. I like doing it all in one day or in two days. So if if it's possible. So if I have the same hair in a picture, it's okay. Sometimes I'll put it in a ponytail like at the shoot and it'll make it look different. But for today, we're doing a little curled wand. I got this on sale. Hannah G, my favorite bachelor girl, um, was promoting it on her Instagram and she had a $90 coupon code. So I got this with like a bunch of other barrels and I like it. So, oh, the lighting just changed. Okay, so I want to first say excuse the mess I have in the background. Um, every time I do any content creating, my room always is a disaster. I know other bloggers experience this, but yeah, so every time it's like a con- Why does the lighting keep changing? But yeah, anytime I do any content creating, my room always becomes a mess. So we're just going to ignore that. But I got a package from Miss Lola. Um, and I'm going to show you. It's a big package, and we're going to open it up. Well, I already opened it because I couldn't wait. But, yeah, so the first thing that they sent me, let's check it out, 
they sent me this super cute flannel looks like this i am so into flannels right now ah oh wait i need to post something on my instagram story see these are the things that i have to remember okay so exactly what i was taught whoa the lighting's bright now so exactly what i was talking about so that's one thing I always have to do when I do get a brand sending me things. I always have to post on my story. Um, I usually include the discount code, all that kind of stuff. Um, I Most of the time, I'm pretty good now, but at first I would always feel weird posting that. I would feel like, I'm, not like I'm bragging, but like I was never the type of person to post things when I even bought it with my own money. I just was never that type. So posting things on my story, I sometimes feel like bragging in a sense. Not that I feel like like that's my purpose, but I don't want people to come across as that because I'm not that type of person in the slightest. I Before I did this stuff, if I ever bought something, the last thing I would be doing is thinking I should just post it online. I'm just not that type. Um, but this, it just comes with the process of doing this. And it works because I've gotten so many DMs from people saying, oh, I bought this with your discount code or this or that. And that's that's what I'm that's why that's my purpose right so sometimes I feel weird posting stories uh, at the same time that's what I'm doing that's what I love to do I love to create content all that kind of stuff and that is just in the process of it so I hope people don't think it comes across as bragging or annoying um, I'm not trying to be like that again I'm not that type of person that would just be posting things to show off that's just not me so with that being said, let's get into the unboxing. First thing they sent over to me that I'm going to show you is this super cute little valise. It's, again, from Miss Lola. I'll share my coupon code. But let's open it up, see what's going on. I've been ordering a lot of my things in medium lately. Um, I'm like typically an extra small if I want it to fit fitting, but I'm so not into the fitted look. Not into that. So I like to buy my things larger now, and I feel like they'll last me longer. Oh my gosh, this is like really loud, this thing. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so soft. Okay, so this is a cute little um, valise. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Um, warm little crew, what is this? Half zip, I think it's what it's called, but yeah. So half zip they sent this over to me that was so cute i love this i love everything nude colors they're just my favorite colors to wear so thank you miss lola so then i'll show the shoes at the end of this little haul so then they sent over to me this little flannel that i wasn't able to show i'm obsessed with flannels and i really like layering them that's really my thing so I got this also in medium. Oh no. No, no. I got this. Wait, what size is this? Yeah, this is medium. This I got in small because on the model it looked like it was already oversized. Yeah, this is. If I would have gotten a medium, it would have been really big. Um, but this is it. A little pink. I thought that these colors were really pretty. It's like a pink, a periwinkle blue. I think that's what it's called periwinkle blue i think that's what it is but love this i think this is so cute i'm so excited for this um this is a little jean jacket sort of deal um open it. okay oh my god this is so cute um so this is it it has like the little fur and i got this also oh i thought i got this in medium maybe it was a mistake did I get it in medium? I don't know. I forget. But I got it in small. They sent it to me in small. But the small looks like it works. I probably would have liked it in medium, but that's okay. Um, Yeah, this is it. Super cute. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. Love this. I'm going to wear this like all the time. Definitely going to be shooting in this. Next thing, they sent me two pairs of shoes. I'm so excited. Um, These shoes are so cool. Um, they sent, oh my gosh, my bedroom looks like a mess and I need to clean it. Wait one sec. Okay, that looks much neater. Okay, so, um, they sent me these super cute black boots. 
These are so fun. I got them at seven and a half. I love this bottom. I've seen these bottoms like on really expensive shoes. I'm pretty sure like Gucci has a pair of shoes that have this like cool bottom. Obviously they are not Gucci, but um, these are super close. So these are so cute, so excited. Love the buckle. I think these will look really cute with a pair of pants I'm planning on wearing on New Year's. Um, not that I'm doing anything too special. I just think these would look good. So these are super cute. Thank you, Miss Lola, for sending me these. Then um, these I love. So these are super cool white little... I don't know exactly what these should be called, but um, again, seven and a half, so cute. Um, they have a big chunky bottom, which everything with a chunky bottom I'm in, I love that platform. And I think these are so cool. So I don't know what these are called, booties, boots? I know they're boots, but like I feel like they have a specific name, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, these are super, super cute. I love these, thank you, Miss. Miss Lola. Okay, so here is the little setup for the mirror picture I am taking. It is with this lounge set, lounge set from Dippin' Daisy. It's super, super cute. Um, Dippin' Daisy, I feel like, is known best for their bathing suits, but they also have cute loungewear. So this is um, a picture I'm going to be taking myself because it's a mirror picture, and I think this will be up on Christmas Day. Okay, so I just finished taking my content for Dippin' Daisy. They came out really good, I think, especially for a mirror picture. If I do do if I do use a mirror picture, I want it to be like really cute. So I think that with this background that my mother did, I think it looks really good. Okay, so I am laying out my Christmas Eve outfit for the picture, so some details. So those pants are the famous Aritzia pants that everyone is talking about. I got them on sale for Black Friday. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're called the Wilfred Molina pant. Then I have a white turtleneck. I literally wear white turtlenecks with all my outfits, but that is my favorite one from Princess Polly. And then this gorgeous leather, like uh, snake skin um, jacket is obviously it's um, not real leather, but this um, like leather jacket is from Princess Polly. Um, super, super cute. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to put this on and then we'll get going. Okay, so I got the pants on. I am actually obsessed with these so let's put the jacket over top this outfit is so cool i'm obsessed bam look at this jacket so cute like what the heck okay so i have my boyfriend in the car who takes like i said like a thousand times that he takes all my pictures so i'm just gonna ask him like what does he when he takes my pictures like what do you do like, what are the things that you do? I look for, like, good lighting always. And then I'll probably, like, tell you, like, to fix things. <laughs> what are some things that you do while you take my pictures? Or, like, things that I ask of you? Like, I'll definitely always tell you to fix your positions. Like, if it's if the lighting's not hitting your face the right way. Or, like, mm. if the sh there's shadows. I feel like I always tell you to, yeah, like... Yeah, no shadows on the face. I feel like I always tell you to, like, lift your head up. Lift That's, my head up, yeah. yeah. He always is like, and head always up. like, head up, um, shadows we look for. Um, I like when my pictures are like even, like there's not enough space at the top, if you know what I mean. Like you could see my shoes, like symmetrical. I'm symmetrical, mm -hmm. so like I'm the focus of the picture rather than having so much empty space at the top. And I used to do that Or a at lot. the bottom, yeah. yeah. And when we first started taking pictures, he would love to take my the pictures from super high up. Mm -hmm. And I would be like, yeah, no. But now he, I don't I'm have to. I'm a pro to, now. I'm yeah. a pro. So. Okay. Now I don't. <laughs> now I don't really have to bo bother him on that. But otherwise, nothing. We I, like, we shoot from lower angles. I feel like yes. We I like my pictures lower angles. It makes you look taller. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I appear taller in my pictures. I I'm not that tall, but I look a little. I look a little. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, to today, um, it's the next day. I think I left off with you guys. I was at the store with my mom and now it's the next day. And what I'm doing is right now I am on my laptop. It's like 930. 
I woke up a little later than expected, um, but I woke up pretty early. So um, right now what I'm doing is I have so much stuff to do today. One of them is get, I had a giveaway last week and I'm a little behind on getting everything, you know, processed because I'm the one who kind of put it together. Um, so I'm going to be sending the winner out the email. So that's what I need to do now. Um, giveaways are super fun. It's just kind of a process to, um, do the gift cards online and stuff. Not a process, but it's a little time consuming. So that's what I have to do now. I have to do that because I told the girl that I would get it to her by maybe Monday and it's now Wednesday. So that needs to be done before I do anything. Um, so what else do I have to do? I'm saying I, I have nothing to do. Oh, mind you, you could see my little pimple marks. I put them on last night because um, I have three little pimples. So just keeping it real. These are the little acne dots from... Not TJ Maxx. Um, Sephora. They're like acne be gone or something. And I got them for a photo shoot. I did it a couple weeks ago, like last month, and they work very well. So I'm gonna redo them. I rebought them and I'm gonna see how they work. So that should I hope they make my little pimples go away. Just getting the gift card now. It's a revolve gift card. Um and we did $150, and congratulations, Elizabeth. I would love to get a Revolve $150 gift card. Um, I do giveaways pretty often now. I, I mean, I did mostly for the holiday season, but if you like giveaways, follow my account because you could win a $150 gift card. Oh my God, I sound like a car, a car person, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the outfit that I'm planning on wearing today. So to shoot my content in, this picture will be going up Sunday. So this is the jacket. This is a Windsor jacket. It's so cute. This like style jacket, these, why did I say it like that? This style jacket is literally so popular right now. This is Windsor from Windsor. They sent this over to me. Um, I love this jacket. It's so cute. It's a leather puffer brown jacket. Like, are you serious? This is Okay, so I haven't gotten ready yet. So excuse the face. I have no makeup on. But the main focus of this outfit, I feel like, is, I can't, I literally can't. I've looked at these shoes on Pinterest for the longest time, um, and they were so expensive, never bought them. I feel like these type of shoes that I'm going to show you, they are more expensive in normal sizes. So these shoes, like I said, I've been, they are all over Pinterest. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. It's these Air Forces, like, yeah, um, yeah, so I found these, they were brand new with tags, I used them once, I went shopping this weekend, and I was just like, I have to wear them, so I wore them this weekend, um, for the first time, they were brand new with tags, um, I cannot believe I got these, I've literally had these saved on my Pinterest for the longest time, I we are getting something to eat before we go shoot some content, right? My number one tip for people that take pictures um, all the time is you can't be hungry when taking pictures. At least I can't because I get super hangry and neither can he. Um, we need to be fed. Um, fully fed. Well Stomachs fed. need to be filled, filled before. <laughs> Stop. So we found this spot. Hopefully this works. I think it's going to work. It's really nice. It's pretty. I like the color blue. So we just finished taking the spot. I think it came out really well. It was right over there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I recorded some of behind the scenes, but. The hey guys, so it is actually a couple days later. It is the 26th, so the day after Christmas, and I'm finishing out, closing out this vlog right now. So what did I do today? So today was another content day. Um, I did all content, not for my own personal, um, sorry, not for my own personal accounts, but I also make content for apps, so they're sponsored content. Um, so I was doing that today, and it took a lot of energy. It was a lot of work. It took about like three hours, I'd say three hours, 
um, and then my room was a mess, all that. But this video, I'm telling you this because this video was like um, a vlog of content creating of a micro influencer, which is me. Um, so I just want to give a little insight and some like behind the scenes on how I take my pictures, how I plan out my feed, all that type of stuff. So I hope this clarified because I've gotten a number of DMs from girls that are just curious about what I've been doing or have watched me like for a while now and just saw like I just had a regular Instagram account and then I changed it into like an influencer blogger account which people has asked me like tips and tricks on it and my ma number one trip my number my number one tip on doing this is take it seriously um as much as it is a hobby and it's fun you want to make yourself look as best as possible pretty much that's it so when it comes to making content for brands like what I've been doing I feel like you want to give your audience your best work right um, when you're in school you want to give your teachers your best work your professors your be best work it's the same sort of thing so I started off when I started this in May I would post things I wasn't that crazy about, but I would be like, oh my God, I just need to post it. Like I need to have something up. There's been so many times that I've reshot outfits that when I come home, I'm like, this isn't good. And yes, it's annoying to go reshoot and go through the whole process again. But I feel so much better when I post something that I feel comfortable in and I feel that people would like. Um, so yeah, that was behind the scenes of like what I do on Instagram. If you have any questions or comments or tips, let me know. I'm always open to hear um, some new tricks or anything. But yeah, so Instagram has definitely been something that I have been super passionate about for a couple months now. And I've always secretly wanted to do blogging, influencing, like seriously, always when I was in high school, when I was alone, I remember I would be like in the bathroom, like pretending I was on YouTube and stuff, which I feel like a lot of people do, even if you might not be interested. <laughs> I'm always learning new things. I'm always meeting new people. I'm always talking to people online, um, other influencers. It's, it's just lots of fun, but it also is a lot of work. So I have to now edit my content, edit this video, and all that type of stuff. So it is a lot of work. It's not just taking pictures and getting clothes and just taking pictures. It's really not that. It's not that at all. It's a lot. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. And hopefully in 2021, my YouTube will be much more active. I really, really, really want to get on here as much as possible. Hopefully, I, will, I would love to get two videos up a week, but it's just so much between Instagram, school, like it's just so much. So I would love to get one video up a week. Um, I've gotten e uh, DMs asking, oh, do you post? Like I see you have a YouTube, you don't post that often. And I really do want to post. It's just a lot so 2021 I am like really really trying to get YouTube videos up there because th that's another thing I really want to get into so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said I hope it gives you some knowledge if you have any questions on Instagram tips blogging even if you want to like help me and you have tips for me any of that let me know but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys had a great holiday because I'm posting this during the holidays. So, so I hope you had a good holiday and everything like that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.